All right, quick video for PUBG settings, options, or menu button. You're going to hit that. Scroll down to system menu, settings. Here they are. You can do that here in the lobby or here in the game. In the game, you're going to have to hold down the options of the menu button. The first thing we're going to change is the controller button preset from type A to type B. If you notice down on the bottom, you will see an apply button. You have to hit apply to save all the changes, otherwise if you try to leave, you'll see they won't be saved, and you can hit confirm and lose them, or cancel, and it'll bring you back in here, and you have to hit apply, and then it'll be saved. Alright, the reason we changed from control type A to B is they're exactly the same, except for left trigger, aims down sight, everybody's pretty used to that. Now we're making L1, or the left button, the aim over the shoulder button making those two different buttons instead of just one where you have to either tap or tap and hold. It's kind of confusing for new players. Going back into the menu, the next thing we're going to work on is the sensitivity. So we're going to hit R2 and go to the sensitivity tab. So here we are with all the defaults. I would leave them most of them where they are and slowly increase them as you get comfortable. Don't try to just speed things up right off the bat. Uh, one of the first important ones is general sensitivity. That's going to be not aiming, just moving the right stick around how fast you want that. The next one is going to be over the shoulder aiming sensitivity. That's one of the ones we just changed. That's when you press L1 or LB, how fast this one moves. And then obviously down here is all your scopes when you're aiming down the sight. Alright, so we're done with sensitivity. We're going to hit R1 and move over to the gameplay tab. Here we are going to show you where the on screen button hints are. We're going to leave those on for now, but those are the buttons on the right side of your screen over there to tell you the game. Next one is the network bug statistics. It's the junk up in the top left corner. Don't need that. Go ahead and disable it. Boom, gone. Compass background, leave it alone. Looting, flash effect. Uh, I would change this one to glow. The stuff just lit up all the time instead of flashing. Easier to see. Apply. Don't worry about the other two. <clears throat> Next, we're going to hit R2 and move over to the function tab. Starting off, you can mess with the reticles or the reticle brightness. You can go custom and change the different reticles if you want. Or you can even go to the different brightnesses for the different ones. You can mess with that on your own. The really important ones are the default firing modes for the guns. You want to make sure they're all turned to full auto. It looks like they are. The secondary default ones, go ahead and turn those from single to burst, single to burst, full auto, full auto. That way a gun's not on single fire and you're expecting it to be on auto when you first pick it up. The next one you're going to want to change is the auto equip scopes. All of them. Radio message, quick ping. Make sure that's enabled. Highlight recommended ammo. This one might get annoying, but here it is. You can turn it on and off. This one they added. You have to hold down the exit button when you're going over a certain speed. Or you can turn that off so that just a tap of a button will get you out of the car. We're going to skip over the others tab. Nothing really to do here. So we're going to hit R1 and go to audio. Just make sure the master volume and the gameplay volume are at 100. And the graphics, make sure you turn your brightness up to 100. Bing, it's a lot easier to see. Alright, and that's it. Here are some of my settings if you want to copy them later on. Pause it if you want to read them.